Inside this video right here, we're gonna talk about exactly what epinephrine, epi, does and what we use it for in EMS. Well, let's dive into it. I want to help decrease failure rates for NREMT, for EMT school, for paramedic school. Watch these videos, watch this content, and believe me, you will start to understand EMS medicine. Anybody out there that wants to serve their community as an EMT or a paramedic should be able to do that. And I'm here as a paramedic coach to help you achieve that. Hey everybody, it's a paramedic coach back here with another video. Inside this video, we're gonna be talking about epinephrine. Now, if you're new here, be sure to like and subscribe. This channel is everything EMT, AMT, paramedic level education. Now, epinephrine. Let's go through a drug card on epinephrine. Now first, the first thing you gotta know about any drug is this. If you know the mechanism of action of a drug, the MOA, what a drug does, then the rest of the drug card already gets filled in. It's literally that simple. See, you don't wanna go off drug cards, off memorization, just memorizing the card. That's not gonna help you. What's gonna help you is understanding the why at a deep level of what the drug does. So let me explain. First, we have epinephrine. What does it do? Well, the effects of epinephrine essentially is very similar to when someone's having a fight or flight response. What does that mean? A sympathetic nervous system, activation. What does that mean? Let's talk about it. Epinephrine acts on alpha-1, beta-1, and the beta-2 receptor as an agonist. So an agonist will bind to a receptor in the body. What does that mean? When a receptor gets activated, it turns on. And every receptor, when it gets turned on, has a response, okay? And when it gets blocked, has a response. With epi, there's no blocking. We're turning the receptor on. Now, alpha-1 receptor, when it gets activated, okay? When it gets stimulated, okay? What happens? Alpha-1 causes vasoconstriction. If I constrict the blood vessels, I'm going to increase my blood pressure, okay? So that is why an indication for epi is hypotension. We need to increase our blood pressure, right? What else? Well, beta-1, we increase the heart rate and we, can, we increase the contractility of the heart. I like to think about it, we make the heart more effective, okay? Think about it, think about it. It's good to increase the heart rate. Another reason why we could use epi as well, okay? What else? Beta-2, we have two lungs. So beta-2, what does that mean? We're gonna open up the lungs. So let's go ahead and recap. Epinephrine activates alpha-1, beta-1, one heart, beta-2, two lungs. Well, it's gonna increase blood pressure, heart rate of the patient, and open up the lung fields. What are the lung fields? Open up the bronchi, bronchioles. Now think about it, think about it, okay? Just knowing that the only thing you need to memorize in a drug card is the dose. If you know the why behind the drug, the drug card fills in. Let me show you now. If we know that epi acts in alpha one, beta one, and beta two, right? Okay, I got that. Increase blood pressure, increase heart rate, open up the lungs. When would be a good time, an indication, to give epi? When we need to do one of those three things. When would it not be a good time to give epi? A contraindication. When we definitely don't need to do those things. What do you mean, Evan? Well, I mean, the indication for epi is like a severe asthma attack, severe hypotension. I mean, a contraindication would be if they're already hypertensive or they're already tachycardic. What's an adverse effect? They get too tacky. They get too hypertensive. 
right? Dose, we split the dose. Now, we are a boxed epi, and we find that in a box, okay? That's why we call it the boxed epi. Epi one to 10,000 is gonna be one milligram, okay? Now, depending on where you practice, where you are, okay, the dose for IM epi may be different, okay? Could be 0 0.3, could be 0 0.4, could be 0 0.5. Okay, I don't know where you practice, okay, in the world. Okay, it's a, it's a large world, okay? But for the most part, it's 0 0.3 milligrams intramuscular for, so let's say, let's say an asthma patient, for example, okay? So you give that IM, 0 0.3 milligrams IM, all right, intramuscular, okay? The PD dose, again, is gonna determine where you live, but a good rule of thumb to go off of is 0 0.01 milligrams per kilogram is a good guide to go off of, all right? Now, the final piece here with epi is special consideration. Well, the thing to consider in epi is this. When you're giving this drug to a patient, think, is this patient in, in a severe enough situation where they need the epi? Because an adverse effect is gonna be hypertension, clamping down the vasculature. So just realize you're given a strong drug. An elderly patient with heart problems, you give them epi, they may have more problems. So really think about that. That's special consideration. Now here's what I can tell you. If someone's having severe asthma, someone's in anaphylaxis, they need epinephrine. That, that doesn't matter. But something to keep in mind for sure when you're treating your patients. And that's why it's a special consideration. It's not a rule. It's a consideration. Now, if you're one of these three people, if you are preparing for EMT or medic school, if you are in school right now, or you are somebody out there who is getting ready, you've gone through school, but you need a study, need a study tool for your NREMT boards. Click the link down below in the description and you will see my program. There's no monthly fees. You get lifetime access, but I would tell you, get in now before the price increase, all right? I don't know how long I'm gonna have the lifetime access, so if you are interested in this program with over 160 videos of content, plus a private members area to ask me questions as your coach, I would get in now. The link is in the description down below. And everyone, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. I went through it. I, I spent the time and money in other areas, and I'm, I'm just going to let you guys know that uh, this was everything I was searching for the whole time. The first couple of videos I watched, um, what I noticed, it, it just I, I just immediately started connecting dots. I want to help decrease failure rates for NREMT, for EMT school, for paramedic school. Watch these videos, watch this content, and believe me, you will start to understand EMS medicine. Anybody out there that wants to serve their community as an EMT or a paramedic should be able to do that. And I'm here as a paramedic coach to help you achieve that.